I love making videos about books that we read. My secret life, like if I didn't have the life I have, <laughs> my secret life would be a librarian. So maybe once all my kids are gone and out of the house, I'm gonna be a librarian. Anyways, this book, Why Do I Have to Make My Bed? Or A History of Messy Rooms. This is a fabulous, fabulous book. It is written by Bradford. Hold on, maybe I need some librarian training because the sticker is right over it. It's written by Wade Bradford and the illustrations are by Johanna van der Stier, 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 Stier. Okay, anyways, why do I have to make my bed? And it's the history, or you could call it the history of making, um, I'm really terrible at this. It's a history of messy rooms. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I will read like the first page at least. So it says, why do I have to make my bed? I said, I already put the dishes in the dishwasher. I dusted off my video games. I even picked up my dinosaur, my racetrack, and my robot monkey action figures. So why do I have to make my bed? It's just going to get messed up again. And then the mom says, ah, oh, that reminds me of a story that your grandmother said when she was little. And she said, I already did. I already dried the dishes. I already dusted my rock and roll records. And I even picked up my slinky and my hula hoop and my roller skates. Gee whiz, why do I have to make my bed? And her mother said, huh, that reminds me of a story when. And so then it takes you through history. So it's the same kid at the beginning, but his mother, his great-grandmother, his great-great-great, his triple-great, they get into some really creative greats. But like here we are in 1801. I love this book. And then like I just flipped and now we're into 1630. And this one was like, I already swabbed the deck, dusted off the Captain's spy scope. I even picked out the rats that were hiding in the pickle barrel. So why do I have to make my bed? And now we're into like, um, let's see, we got Egyptians, we got cave, cave people, and then I will not give away the punchline, but it is the best punchline. And then I'm going to turn it so you don't see the punchline. It's such a good book. But then, and so I read it aloud to my kids and then I said, and if you're interested in this book and you would like to learn more information, you can grab this from our library pile and you can read about the prehistoric times, ancient Egypt, Roman Empire, the age of Vikings, the Middle Ages, the New World. Um, and so anyways, I like kind of got them a little fascinated with that. And it's about chores through the ages. And so we do um, classical conversations and my kids have a really good understanding of like the timeline of history. So this book fits right in the middle of their timeline and that they're already learning. And so this is just a wonderful book. Anyways, um, we might end up buying this one, but I'm so glad that we checked it out from the library and um, I think you should check it out too.